Okay, from King Canada to Amazon in New Westminster. Now, for those of you that don't know, that's the same as Vancouver. Uh, yeah, so came all the way from Vancouver to Winnipeg in three days, free shipping. Okay, handles all your drilling needs. Wood, aluminum, zinc, brass, iron, and steel. Oh no, I got the wrong one. It won't drill plastic. Okay, I thought it was funny. I'm assuming that the best way to open it, better not spill my new cup of coffee there, will be from this side right here. It only weighs 33 pounds, but it sure feels heavier than that. Okay, I have a faint recollection of having to put together the one that I had like 35 years ago. It all looks the same. Is this thing greasy? Yeah, this thing's greasy. Okay, I'm going to have to go find a, a, a cloth, I guess, and uh, wipe this down or I'm going to be getting it all over my green, my green tablecloth here. Okay, yeah, everything is greasy. The chuck. Well, that's the way this stuff comes. Uh, you know, they, they ship it by sh by ship on the ocean. I got to protect it against the salt salt air, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, uh, get this thing cleaned up a little bit here, and then we'll take a good look at it. I'll put it together first too. You don't want to watch me putting it together, I'm sure. It was not anywhere nearly as greasy as I thought it was. I guess what made it look greasy was the plastic stuck on the on the metal. Um, this is uh, on on the one that I had, my old one. I believe this part was cast, and this is uh, has been uh, is pressed metal. It's, it's strong. I, I don't care. It just that's the difference. Everything else looks the same. This casting looks the same. This housing looks the same. Where the motor hooks on looks the same. The motor itself looks a little different. Uh, you open it up and look down inside. The the pulleys look the same as the old one. I can't see a whole lot of difference. Uh, now, get rid of this plastic here. I guess I really really didn't need that. Now I have not tried it out yet. I'm going to be turning it on for the first time. So you can watch the expression on my face if it doesn't work. But I, I really think it will. I, I've uh, I found with most of this uh, Asian built stuff, it's you know it, it 
parts of it are really crude, but part the things that have to be precise, they do seem to be precise. Anyway, after saying that, it's probably not going to work. You know, my sign up there, I don't know if you can read it from there. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what happens. be fairly smooth. It's not overly noisy. I'm just going to let it run for a while and uh, let the bearings and everything warm up and then I'm going to just, I'm going to put a dowel in it and, uh, and uh, check for, for wobble. Feels good. At least the outside feels good. Okay. Oh, uh, let me turn this off a second. About yesterday's video, uh, those of you who like to start watching it right on the hour, you will have noticed that it was about 10 minutes late getting started, getting posted. And the reason for that is because not so much that I left the final edit too long, but there was a way more than I thought there was. It was a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought it was about maybe 19, 20 minutes. I think it was something like 27, 28. Well, it took a lot longer to upload. It took YouTube a lot longer to process it. So uh, I miscalculated a little bit. I'm not gonna show a sign of weakness and say I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me finish up with this thing. And it's, like I say, it's, it's basically the way I remember the other one. The other one was red, this one's black. Uh, it's, it seems a little taller, but it can't be, because <laughs> everything else, everything's the same, so it can't be taller. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. The price was good. I'm very pleased. You know, it was almost dead on right out of the factory. Uh, you, what you saw me adjust there is all I had to adjust. Okay, this area that we painted here is more than dry now, and it's it looks all right. Now I I haven't done the other side yet. I got kind of sidetracked with that drill press. Um, now uh, 
I do have this, and I do recall testing it out. Um, oh, well, it must be, what, about a year ago now? And it seemed to me that what I was finding was it was turning my flat XF paint into sort of a semi-gloss. Uh, yeah, it, it was working great for what it was supposed to do, but if it could just retain the, uh, you know, it's, it's very flat uh, texture, uh, I think that would be better. But I'm going to just try it one more time, and, and we'll try it on here, and if it's, you know, if it's absolutely glaring, and it looks like I used a gloss paint, uh, then I'll just, I'll just paint over it. Uh, I won't. I won't add the uh, uh, the uh, retarder to this. I'll, I'll, well, it will be to this, but it won't be in this jar. We'll mix up a little separate jar. But I do have a faint recollection now that I've been thinking about it, uh, since I replied back to that person who commented that it. You know, like I say, it it changed it into a, a semi gloss. Let's try it again. Now it doesn't have to be dead center, but I just happen to know that right here is the center of what the camera's looking at. Okay, I've uh, shaken this up again, and uh, we don't need to mix up a whole lot here. I do want enough, though, that as I'm using it, it's not going to start drying out on me. Okay, now I don't think you need to shake this stuff, but it did anyway, because it can't hurt. I think it's the kind of thing that, you know, it's, it's not like oil and water or something that you have to mix it up every time. Now we're not going to put in very much. Maybe just two drops. Maybe just one drop. No, two. Uh, it's running around looking to see what I could mix it up with, but I guess maybe we could just use the brush that we're going to use, and uh, then I'll just sort of wipe it off, the excess off. It does appear to be the consistency does look a little different, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to have to move this. And I'm probably going to have to, uh, you know what, I'm going to have to reposition here, folks. Okay, I guess about maybe four minutes has passed here now. And uh, I did I did clean out the brush with solvent, or isopropyl. Um, we're just going to try and get rid of that gray. You know what, I do believe that's going on better. Is it my imagination, or is it... Maybe I shouldn't be going over it twice. Um, you know, I've been thinking of maybe uh, moving back my uh, upload time from 5 p.m. Winnipeg time 
to maybe 7 or 8 p.m. Winnipeg time. Um, reason being is it gives me more time in the afternoon because quite often I'll be working away like I am right now and all of a sudden I'll realize, oh my goodness, it's, you know, it's, it's time to do the upload. Okay, I think I'm going to have to pretty soon reposition here. Maybe I can go with just this one section here. You know what? I think this is painting better. No. Will it be glossy on me? Let's just move this down a little bit here. Get more light on it. See, the idea is I want this part that I just painted to match this part that got sprayed. Now, didn't we conclude when we were doing the other side yesterday that I didn't need to paint the top of this? But I did anyway, didn't I? So I guess I sort of want them to match. the top of this this thing right here. I think there's a ladder or something goes on there. This is definitely painting better. I sure hope that it's going to work out. In other words, that it's not going to be glossy. Because this is definitely going on better. And what about the top right there? Okay, now how were, how were these? Were they okay? Not really. I'm going to have to re reposition everything and maybe just paint it off camera. Because I wanted to, well, maybe not. Oh, don't want to go too low. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Well, let's let that dry and, and see if it's going to dry flat. Oh, I'm, you know, I wasted a whole bunch of paint there. I didn't need near that much. I wonder if there's some way I can save that. Now, I was just about ready to clean out my brush. And I realized I got the front here left to do. I hope that the brush isn't gone and dried out too much on me now. Now this is supposed to be self-leveling, so so that place right there where it was a little thicker here than it is here, I'm, it'd be interesting to see does it actually self-level. You know, this top here, see this top ridge that I'm just painting right now? Or trying to paint? That is not supposed to be deck tan. That is supposed to be either gray or, in this case, the same, the same shade of gray as the... Trying really hard not to get it onto the deck. Yeah, that's better. 
I just I just noticed I did not do the uh, same thing on the other side. So I'm going to have to do that. Okay, let's continue on with our windows here. Got sidetracked. You know, it, it could be that maybe what I should be doing is is leaving these parts that are well. I guess we'll know. Yes, this this paint is working much better. It do, it's not having the tendency to dry off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just swing this around here and, and do the top along the other side. Is there anything else here on this side that maybe should be... Now what's happening here? Is that... Is that needing a second coat or is it just the way it's drying? Let's just... We'll just leave it and see what happens. Maybe as so many people have put, you know, if it's not perfect, it looks a little bit weathered. Okay, I'll hold my, my brush sort of flat, and that way it's not going to sort of go over onto the other side. holding it too flat. There we go. There. I think that got rid of that. You know, this is kind of fun. I'm going to sell my airbrush. Okay, I've got my brush all cleaned out here right now, so it doesn't matter if I touch anything. But when I was, you know, I remember we're painting this part right here. And uh, when I, then I noticed that I had to do the top here. And I guess I got what you might call exuberant. And I got a little bit on the deck tan. Now as I look down in, into that, <clears throat> because it's, it's sort of concaved in the crack, it is, I might, you might say it, it almost looks glossy. Um, Maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. It might not be quite dry yet. It was about 15, 20 minutes ago. A bit of time has passed here. Uh, right after I did that, my doorbell rang and my neighbor wanted me to come over and put my battery charger on his car, which we did, so we lost a few minutes there. Well, you never lose, you never lose time when you're helping your neighbor, right? Okay, I do believe this is dry now. Um... Yeah, I can see that it, <clears throat> excuse me, that it is not flat uh, when you look into the crack. Maybe I'll put the macro lens on and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, if you, uh, if you look right in the crack, the, uh, the light from the one surface, the, you know, where I painted over onto the deck tan by mistake, is sort of bouncing up off of the, the other little surface, and it's, uh, refracting back as a or bouncing back rather into the lens as a as a bright spot you can just just sort of see it there it's at, at least I can see it so uh, yeah we we do have a tiny problem with it being slightly glossy whereas before it wasn't okay as long as I got the macro lens handy like I never have it handy right let's just uh, take a look along the this top edge here 
and uh, see what we think. It's it's dry now, about as dry as it's going to get anyway. So what do you think? Okay, for step 11, we've already had this conversation. It's basically davits and ladders. And the davits, we were going to leave until the end of the build because we didn't want to accidentally break them off while we were messing around putting a whole bunch of other stuff on. Now, the ladders, they, they can't really be put on until this piece is mounted down on the deck below because the the bottom part of the ladder has to rest on it to get the angle just right. Otherwise, they're going to be sort of hanging down. So I was thinking, well, why don't we just glue this down on the deck? Because no, I don't see any reason why we can't right now. It should, we should be able to build other major components without having to glue them on here. Um, you know, build, build them up, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, what what do I think of this stuff? I, th I think it's pretty good, and I'm probably going to use it from now on whenever I have to do brushing. Um, at least I, th I think I will. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, anyway, enough about this. So what are we going to do here? So if I glue this down, now I don't want to do it right now because, very gently now, <clears throat> the underside is, is, is still, uh, well it's kind of blotchy here and and uh, remember I was mentioning how uh, Scott was, was uh, detailing the inside of his and I said I was not going to detail the inside of mine but I do think that what I should do is paint this white. I think I can just, I can just use a brush, just, just paint all the inside white carefully. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go get the uh, hull and we'll set it up here on the, on the model table and we'll We'll have a nice close look and see how much can you see and what can you see. Maybe I'll, I'll try and angle the, the camera in and see can we actually see up underneath there and do I need to go to all the work of painting it white because I'm, I'm not real good at hand painting and I can envision getting white paint on the other side, you know, along here where it's not supposed to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm going to think about it for a while, and uh, we'll, we'll do all that in tomorrow's episode. So thanks for watching, folks, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, I won't be changing the time from 5 p.m. Winnipeg time uh, till a later, day, a later time uh, for a while. And when I do, I'll let you know uh, well in advance. It, it probably won't be until sometime in December, because I'm thinking of... Uh, starting to shoot at 4k 60 frames a second which takes a little longer to upload uh, as well as it gives, gives me more time in the afternoon so uh, yeah like I said all being well we'll see you tomorrow and thanks for watching <laughs>